Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther Vision and today we're gonna work with the transform tool again and we're gonna make something really interesting and different because transform tool has a lot of potential and yeah, before we jump in, if you're new on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go. First thing, uh, click on the fill and click on this none thing or you can press the slash. I don't even know this uh, shortcut, this is the first time. But yeah, I just pressed the slash and it just disappeared. This is what we're gonna do. And we want, you know, the stroke, to work with the stroke. We're gonna select the circle from the menu, the ellipse tool, or you can pre press all, L, sorry. I usually put the, uh, you know, the forms and shapes here in the left so I can see them. I don't need to long click and then select. And what we're gonna do is click on the screen and this ellipse menu is gonna pop up. Just type in 109 width and, and 109 height and then pre press okay. We're gonna have the ellipse. As I'm seeing right now, the stroke is inside of the circle. I want to be in the center of the circle, so I'm gonna go to the strokes and align the stroke to the center and you can see it aligned it to the center you can put it inside you can put it outside but i want it into the uh, you know into the center okay from here we're gonna press the letter a or you can select here the direct selection tool and we're gonna select this anchor point and we're gonna press shift and pull this uh, upwards somewhere around here in this kind of area right here you can see it's curvy curvy we're gonna make it uh, edgy with uh, this tool the anchor point tool which also you can find it in the pen tools menu shift plus C and I'm gonna press on this click on this anchor point so as you can see it made it uh, really edgy it's not curvy at all this is what we wanted to do as you can see this line is kind of uh, straight which is not good we want uh, a consistent curvy line so it looks and reflects as a you know a um, water droplet or a leaf you know it it tries to mimic that so we're gonna we're gonna press the a again or select the direct selection tool and we're gonna select this anchor point now and as you see the handle the upper handle i'm gonna press shift and pull it upwards around kind of this zone so as you can see it's perfectly almost perfectly curved and I want the same exact uh, results to this anchor point also so what I'm gonna do is select this press ctrl or command R and you can see here the ruler just appeared and I'm gonna press the ruler and then drag it and as you can see it created uh, a grid basically so I'm gonna I'm gonna you know pull the grid where the handle is so I can know from right now I know where the where to pull the other other handle exactly so I'm gonna press shift and pull it upwards where they intersect okay I'm gonna make this uh, grid disappear by pressing uh, control or command comma plus comma it's like okay I'm gonna write it out here plus this or this basically it's the same thing that's the button okay so right now we got this droplet kind of thing i think i even can pull it a little bit more a little bit more up to be a little bit more skinnier from here i'm gonna go to effects distort and transform transform you can see the menu popped up. I'm gonna press preview. And uh, I want you to dial in these kind of numbers like 15 in the horizontal. The vertical is gonna be seven. And in the angle is gonna be minus nine. And we want eight copies. Okay, it's somewhere around here. As you can see, this is like a small little area right now. But we, we want to increase it to be the same uh, distance as these guys in here, that, like these lines. So I'm going to uh, adjust the horizontal uh, position like this. 
I'm gonna press OK. I'm gonna make a copy out of this. I'm gonna select it. As you can see, it only selects the original shape. You can't select these because right now they're non-existent. They're like effects, you know. So I'm gonna press this. I mean, select it. Now press Alt and uh, bring the mouse to the shape. And now you're gonna copy it. I'm gonna isolate it with the Shift. So it's gonna be in place. And here we have the new copy. Um, from here, I'm going to expand it so I can touch these uh, other shapes also. So I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna press uh, Object, Expand Appearance. From here, we're gonna cut the rest of it with, a, with the Shift plus, Shift plus M or you can select it from the menu, the Shape Builder tool, Shift plus M. And we're gonna cut it out these areas. As you can see, right now, uh, the little arrow has a plus in there. With the plus, I can uh, combine the shapes together to be one shape, you know. But if I press and hold Alt, basically what it's gonna do, you can see it's, uh, it's a minus near the uh, little arrow. This is basically gonna cut out the shapes. So we're gonna use this. Um, also to be even more easier, you're gonna press Alt so it can appear the minus, we can cut it out and Shift also. So you can do this when you press Shift and Alt and you just go to these and delete the whole thing. From here, I'm gonna do the same thing so I can at the same time, I'm gonna select multiple stuff and delete at the same time. This is good if you press Shift plus Alt at the same time, you know, instead of uh, playing around with uh, all the form different on all the forms differently. What I can do with the Shift plus Alt is basically cutting out these places. So these places are for the Alt only. So I'm gonna press and hold Alt and just uh, click it and draw something like this and everything is cut out okay from here if you zoom in you can see a lot of pixels going on in this one and basically no pixel is in this one they, these are like really rugged right now why because there's like a lot of uh, shapes under each other so we're gonna ungroup these and we're gonna separate them so right click on group, we're gonna right click again, on group again. Uh, they got grouped multiple times because we got a lot of shapes in here. Um, and right now I'm gonna select, not like this, no, no, no. You won't select it because you selected, you basically select all the shapes. We're gonna select only the top shapes. I'm gonna show you. Like select this and press shift. And these are basically the top shapes. I'm gonna right click and press group, okay? And I'm gonna bring this to the right. And this is gonna be the original. Right now, as I zoom in, there's like no pixelation or whatsoever, but as you see here, it's like more noise going on. A lot more pixels, and I'm gonna show you what, what happened. It happens because it has like more shapes on each other, like this. So as you can see, this was like, three times copied. We got one here, or, or which one are we talking about? The second one, yeah, it's like three. So the same thing goes with these things. And as you can see, uh, the bottom one has the most shapes under each, you know, it's like one, oh, sorry, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine shapes it's like unbelievable so this is the thing this is why you need to ungroup it and select the top shapes when you cutting it out like this so everything is clean from here i'm going to select this press alt drag it plus shift so you isolate it then press shift plus x or you also can select this little thing the swap fill and stroke so you, so it's basically going to swap it and this is what we have. We swapped it. We, here we got the stroke, 
I mean the fill, and here we have the stroke. So this is the, tutor the tutorial. It's more basic, but it's also detailed. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye bye.